Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you and play for you German Harpsichord 1738 for Halion, Halion Sonic and Halion Sonic SC. This beautiful historical library for Halion features one of the very few preserved German harpsichords, an amazing sounding instrument crafted by Christian Vater. Built in Hanover in 1738, the instrument features a mellow low end and rich low mids combined with a delicate treble range. Playable in modern and historical temperament, this harpsichord truly brings the sound of the 1700s into the 21st century. So, if you love harpsichords like I do, stick around, you will really enjoy this. So, let's start playing this beautiful instrument. The great thing about harpsichords is they are such unique instruments, so every instrument will have its own character, it will have its own tone, its own color. So, it's really fascinating playing different harpsichords. If you've ever tried one, it's a really, really unique experience. The keys feel in a very, very specific way. And because there's only one dynamic in these instruments, it's all about the tone and uh, all the expression that you can give when you're playing uh, with your rallentandos and the trills and all these things. But I also want to show you how you can use the German harpsichord 7038 as an instrument for basso continuo when you combine it with an orchestra. So what I've done here is I've prepared a simple orchestration using Iconica based on some really, really popular pieces, I'd like to think. So we have a very typical orchestration, first, second violins, violas, celli, and contrabasses, but also some horns and timpanis later on. And I'm going to play the German harpsichord 7038 live, and I'm going to use it in this case as a basso continuo instrument. And I want to show you how it blends really, really nicely with an orchestra.
I want to show you the interface very quickly. It's a very simple interface, but it has all the controls you need in order to get the best out of the German harpsichord 1738. So we have these main controls here, we have the decay. So this controls how fast the sound will decay when you hit a note. So you can make the notes really long or you can make them really short if you want to have like a very specific effect. I like to do this when I'm producing music that's uh, pop or hip-hop. You might want to have like a more kind of um, unnatural harpsichord sound. You know, or maybe super short like this. But of course, the most uh, natural values are around 12 o'clock and then you might want to make it a little bit longer. Then we have the key release, rear sample sampled all these release noises. So let's play a little bit. And now let's release the key. You hear that? Now, if you want to make this louder, and in my case, I like these noises louder, you can turn them up. Then we have the pitch, so if you want to change this to a different tuning, maybe if you want to play along with an orchestra or with a Baroque orchestra, Baroque ensemble, sometimes the tunings differ a little bit. So this gives you all the control you need straight away. So let's keep it at 4400 because after this I'm going to play a little piece with an orchestra, with Iconica. And let me explain the other controls. We have the two stops, the front and the rear stop. So these are two registers and real samples sampled both of them separately so that you have more control and that you have all the natural characteristics of each register like all the resonances and those little nuances of the sound that you get from each register. So if I turn this on, now we have just the front stop. Now let's listen to the rear stop. And then, of course, you can have them both playing at the same time. And this way, the sound becomes richer. If I may dare say, you could call this the chorus of the 1700s. Let's listen. Immediately, you get transferred to a completely different era, to a completely different time. I mean, these instruments are really great if you're scoring a film, a historic film that takes place in the 1700s, for example. I think these instruments are really, really special. And uh, I want to talk about the last control that we have here, and this is the temperament. You can use the equal temperament, which is basically what we use today, but you can also use the Valotti temperament, which is a historical tuning. It's a little bit sweetened. Uh, so let's have a listen.
And the great thing with the German harpsichord 1738 is that even though the instrument doesn't have dynamics, they sample the same key several times so you don't get this machine gun effect when you play trills or when you play repeated notes like... So you don't get the same sample twice. And this is extremely, extremely important when you're playing trills. It gives the instrument a way more realistic perception. I love this. It's uh, really important because with harpsichords, you will play trills. <laughs> it's a given. And the last thing that I want to show you is the master effects. If you click this, you will find some controls for the master effects. So we have EQ and we also have a really beautiful reverb. I like adding a little bit of top end to my harpsichord. So this EQ might be very useful if you're trying to sculpt the tone depending on your material. You know, this adds a little bit of clarity and this kind of fizzy kind of sound for the harpsichord, especially when you're playing uh, basso continuo. This could be a very, very useful thing because you might want to turn down the low end and have a thinner sound because it blends better with the orchestra. So for now, let's keep this neutral and let's add the reverb. So. can change the mix and add a little bit more. Beautiful, very useful. Reverbs are super useful with harpsichords. So, and we have quite a bit of customization for this reverb. So from now on, I'm going to play so that you can hear how it sounds and how it reacts on different types of material. Let's play something very simple at first. Try the front stops. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you make some great music with the German harpsichord 1738.